Kim Kardashian shows us her plastic surgery scars, and I, for one, could not be more grateful. Thank you so much, Kim, for not photoshopping under your nose and your nostril area in this Instagram post. Okay, so maybe she didn't quite mean to show us her scars, but nevertheless, we do have photographic evidence of two different plastic surgery procedures. We finally have proof of a possible upper lip lift and alar based reduction, which is a procedure commonly done during rhinoplasty surgery or a nose job. In this Instagram post that you all sent me, yes, the entire world sent me this Instagram post, we can clearly, clearly see scar evidence of not one, but two different plastic surgery procedures. My name is Lori Hill. Please subscribe to this channel if you're interested in plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, or just some hot plastic surgery tea being spilled. Now let me tell you why seeing this photo was so exciting for me. Number one is a lot of you want to have procedures done, but you do ask me about the scarring. And when I tell you that all plastic surgery procedures usually result in scars, a lot of you point to the Kardashians or the Car Jenners saying, well, they don't have scars. Well, now you have an example of a Kardashian who indeed still gets plastic surgery scars. No, they're not some mythical superhuman unicorn that can get plastic surgery and come out scarless. They're human just like the rest of us, and now you have actual proof. Now, the second reason why it's so important to see this photograph is for you plastic surgery police out there. Yes, you guys like to police me for actual evidence in the form of photos of scarring on these celebrities before you can believe anything. Well, here's your proof. So let's go over both procedures. Remember that this is still speculation only and my opinion and not fact. First, we have the lip lift scar, which is right here where the arrow is pointing. This is a very common spot to put an upper lip lift scar, a bullhorn upper lip lift, which is what I suspect she had. I also think there may have been some muscle manipulation done. I have the same scar from an upper lip lift that I had over a decade ago. I can wear makeup and it doesn't bother me in the least. I don't think I've ever had anyone comment on it until I talked about my lip lift on this channel. Now during a lip lift, skin between the nose base and the upper lip is removed and the incision is closed here, creating a scar. The scar actually goes from nostril to nostril but the scars under the nostril area are generally easier to hide or laser away. But the remaining scar that you see right here, this horizontal one right in between her nostrils is commonly still there after an upper lip lift, even after lasering and other procedures. You generally will see this scar when the person's face is in movement, in aggressive movement, like a kissy face or a smile. That movement stresses the scar a little and it shows more. Now the second set of scars are less obvious, but definitely there. Look at the area on her nostrils. Do you see how it indents here? This is a sign of alar base reduction and the usual scar from it. An alar base reduction is generally done along with rhinoplasty. It removes a snippet of skin and tissue from the nose's ala or nostril area, as it's commonly known, then sutures the nostrils back together. Now, this procedure helps for the nose to look less wide from the front point of view. You may wonder how I know that's an alar base reduction scar and not just the scar from her lip lift. Well, besides the fact that Kim's nose has significantly changed over the years, I can tell by the way her nostrils look. They have a certain uneven look to the nose hole or nostril hole area. This sort of uneven look is something I've seen over and over in different base reductions. When they suture the nostrils back together, it gives them just a very slight tweaked look. There's always a trade-off with plastic surgery. In Kim's case, the trade-off was a shorter upper lip, but a scar under her nose. You may weigh that trade-off as being too much. You may not want a scar under your nose, or 
you may see that as a good trade-off and not mind the scar under your nose. Remember though that the reason for Kim's longer lip may have been from one of her rhinoplasties that cut the muscle there that then releases the upper lip. So for Kim, this might have been a great trade-off. Now, one point that I think is really important to make is how advanced plastic surgery and scar management has become. Back in the day, we could actually look for scars that people had as sort of like evidence that they had that procedure done. But now I'm noticing more and more that we cannot rely on scars as evidence. That's why I feel that the analysis videos I make on this channel are so important because I'm trying to teach you guys how to spot the actual plastic surgery procedure on the celebrity's face and being able to see good before and afters of that feature and how it looks changed. Actually understanding what the changes look like on the person's face or body is very key in being able to identify a celebrity having had work done since we can no longer count on visible scarring. Not to mention that most celebrities, most everyone, is face tuning and photoshopping. So education about the procedures, as well as seeing good before and after photos of what the possible procedure looks like on the celebrity's face is your best way of detecting plastic surgery, not by looking for scarring. Kim releasing this photo may also go a long way into normalizing plastic surgery scars. It's funny because I don't think this scar is a big deal at all. I don't think it takes away from her beauty. So I'm hoping that by her releasing this photo and other photos, maybe that she doesn't Photoshop to oblivion, it'll go a long way in normalizing scars from plastic surgery. Okay, you guys, so what do you guys think about Kim sharing this photo unedited? Do you think that she did it on purpose? And if so, why would she do that? Let me know in the comments below. Also, do you like these short snippet videos alongside my other content? And if you like them, let me know what I should call this kind of video. All I could come up with was the Hill Report and plastic surgery snippet. I don't think either one of those are that good. So let me know down below. I've attached my Kim Kardashian video to this video and it's coming up next. So if you wanna watch that analysis, if you haven't yet, or if you wanna refresh your memory about her possible plastic surgery procedures, you can go watch that. I do know that I need to update Kim's analysis and that will be coming in the next few months. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>